dog, but needs to find someone with the big dog experience. And joining me this morning from Central Dakota Humane Society is Shelly Kohler to introduce us to Clayton and tell us more about him. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning. Yep, Clayton is about one year old, so okay. he is um, very energetic, very, uh, very busy guy. Yeah. He needs somebody with an active lifestyle for sure. Yeah. He came to us as a stray um, north of Bismarck, so we don't know a lot about him from that point on. Okay, this morning, I don't know if you were seeing the show earlier, but Tana Trotter was here from Proximal 50, and as she was leaving, Krista was reading the promo saying that, you know, coming up, we're going to meet Clayton. And she goes, Clayton, that's an interesting name. Do you have any idea where the, the, the name came from? No, we were just actually being funny one day. Okay. And we just decided, you know, we just picked funny names. After a while, you know, you kind of run out of spot and, <laughs> yeah. and you know, shadow and that kind of thing. Yeah. So we have to kind of come up with different names. <laughs> I, got, I got to be honest with you, Shelly. When I was a little kid, we had dogs on the farm. And I think the first five or six were all named Fido. So I wasn't real See? original. So you don't want me exactly. to be naming dogs for you. <laughs> all right, let's talk about Clayton. He's fully checked over and he is ready to go, isn't he? Yes, he, he definitely is. Um, you can see right now he's really focused on something and there's cats usually in this room. So he mm. is not a big fan of cats. Um, so he would have to go to a household where, where there weren't any cats, but he does do well around some dogs. Some dogs not so well, it just kind of depends. Um, but yeah, he's, um, he's neutered, he's all um, set to go. He'll be microchipped before he uh, gets adopted out. And um, yeah, he just needs somebody who's willing to spend a little time with him and, and do some training because he does kind of pull hard on the leash a little bit. Yeah. But as we, the longer we walked, the better he got. Yeah, like we were talking during the commercial break, if you're on rollerblades behind him, hang on because you might be going for a ride. He looks extremely powerful. Yes, he's very strong. Okay, yes. <laughs> maybe Shelley, you mentioned this, but I, I didn't catch it. Do, do, you, do we have a guess as to the breeds? What's, what's all involved with him? Yeah, we're just calling him a bulldog mix, okay. so we don't really know exactly, you know, what the mix part is, but, um, come here, buddy, no, come here, um, but yeah, we're, the vet's calling him a bulldog, okay. so he's, you know, a little bit more, um, you know, laid back than some other breeds, but he's just young, that's why he acts so so crazy right now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he's, he seems pretty pretty mellow right now, he just looks like he's going, I smell cats, and uh, you know, that's yeah. not my favorite thing. Okay, what do you mean <laughs> right. by someone, you're looking to find someone to adopt him that has big dog experience, what does that entail? Well, it's just because he's a strong breed, mm. um, and you know, you want somebody who is willing to, to work with that kind of breed, and who has the power to really more yeah. so hang on yeah. to them, you know, when you're walking them. Sure. So you wouldn't, you know, want to let a little child walk him. Although he's be, he would be very good with kids, but he would just take them for a ride. Exactly. Yeah. Into the wind today, the kid would become a kite probably. Yeah. All right. Now, let me, <laughs> let me ask you this. His adoption comes with toys, treats, and a lot more. There's a lot that comes along with it, including a blanket. Yes. Yep. Yep. So they, we, they get a blanket with their um, their smell on it because that also kind of helps them ease the anxiety of going to a new home. Um, but yeah, they get that a little to go bag with some toys, some treats. Um, they have all their vaccines done. Um, they've all been to the vet. So they had a vet check done. Um, they go home with some food as well. So there's quite a bit that goes with them. OK, there are at least three things I want to touch on yet, Shelly, with you. And we're running out of time, as we always do. But the one thing, first of all, I want to ask you about you guys recommend that you take a dog to a professional for for some training we do because it's actually it's, it's training the dog as well as training the person yeah. um, you know because a lot of times we feel like we know what what the best thing is and and if you have the experience that's super but if you don't it's, it's just really a wonderful tool where you can learn about the the training as sure. along with the dog okay April 26 Crown Butte Wranglers 4-H Club tell me briefly Yep, we're, they are having a pet food drive, and that's going to be at the Mandan Library. Um, so the pet food goes to our Buddy Bowl um, program, and then that Buddy Bowls program, we give that food back to the community for those people in need. Okay, then the 30th, it's Panda Express Fundraiser Day. Tell me about that. Yep, you can go to the Panda Express and, and grab a meal and then some of that and help raise uh, money for the shelter at the same time as eating a good meal. Sounds wonderful. Shelly Kohler, tell us where we can find Central Dakota Humane Society. Sure, you can find us three miles north on Highway 1806. Give us a call at 667-2020 or visit us at cdhs.net. All right, Shelly Kohler and Clayton, thank you very much. Best of luck to you, Clayton. I hope you find the, the home that, that fits you well, and uh, we'll, we'll find out about that in the weeks to come. Thank you so much. All right.